guys, here's the zoo we're gonna end up putting together and all the 4D dinosaur puzzle eggs. They are really cool. Keep watching to see us take them out of these huge eggs and put them together. Wow, guys, it's great to see you again. I'm so glad you came back. Today, we're gonna have 11 4D dinosaur eggs. I put them inside these big eggs because these are awesome. I actually opened these up. These are the uh, dinosaur ones. And guys, if you do enjoy uh, any of my videos, I've got over a thousand videos. Many of them are the uh, dinosaur videos. So lots of surprise ones. Check out my playlist at the end of this video or go to my channel and check out my playlist so the first one is an awesome blue egg it's got like a textured feel to it i also put a link below where you could actually buy these on amazon so it looks like our first one is a 4d stegosaurus for us to put together okay so these are nice detailed ones very similar to uh lego actually so this one uh the only thing you have to be really careful about this one if you put the head well you don't you can't even really make a mistake because the head has a little round knob on it and the tail does not the tail has a knob on this piece but a hole on the other so you can't put it on to the wrong end so it's nice so just go ahead and snap these in sometimes you have to put a little bit of pressure and then you figure out the leg pieces the uh, big leg piece would go in the back Wow, guys, these are really awesome. Fun to put together. And they look so cool. I mean, look at the detail on that. It looks a lot cooler than a Lego one. And the uh, head moves, the tail moves, the leg moves. Because they are all on ball joints. So that is the Stegosaurus. So we'll go ahead and put that one into the zoo. And then it's time for the next one. So once again, I put the egg inside the big eggs because those big eggs are awesome. I don't care what you say. I love those big Geo World eggs. And this one, huh, this one might be a T-Rex. They just don't label them. It would be nice if they did label them. So this one might actually be a Carnotaurus because it looks like you've got the uh, two horns on the side here. So similar to a Carnotaurus or a Velociraptor, but I don't think it's a Velociraptor because they didn't include the third claw. So go ahead, snap the piece on. So these are nice because they are uh, like seven piece puzzles. So it's pretty simplistic you can't really make a mistake with these uh, yeah this one has a bigger front arm so I don't think it's the t-rex unless they made it with a bigger arm so to me this is looking like a carnotaurus awesome I like the carnotaurus and then uh, once again with this one the mouth will open close turn, the arms turn, the legs turn, the tail turns. So it is really cool looking. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one into the zoo right over there. And then let's get our next one. Our next one is a green egg. And then they do repeat the colors of the eggs. Oh, this one's a Triceratops, a mean looking one. Awesome. Okay, so, so far, guys, these are really cool, fun dinosaurs. 
So with this one, first thing I want to do is attach the head. And guys, uh, the cool, really cool thing about these are they look awesome, but you can't really make a mistake. I mean, the way they have it attaching, you can't put the head where the tail should be. The only mistake you could make is put the uh, legs in the wrong place, but you always put the bigger legs in the back and the smaller legs in the front, and then you are fine. So these are awesome. Wow. I, I actually like these ones more than Lego, guys. I mean, because they're so mean looking. Check this guy out. I mean, this is, it's like an evil looking uh, T-Rex. And his mouth does open and close, which I'm surprised for, I mean, a Triceratops, sorry. Evil looking Triceratops because of the three horns. Uh, dark green, black, yellow color scheme. Really cool. So we're going to go ahead and put this back here with the other herbivore. That's three of them, but we still have plenty more. Remember, we have 11 of these to open. The colors repeat, but hopefully the dinos do not. Oh, this one does. Okay, so this is another one of the ones that I think are the Carnotaurus. It's either Carnotaurus or T-Rex. I'm not 100% positive so just go ahead and snap the guy's head on and then pull his tail and then his legs also let me know which one of these are fav your favorite in the comment section down below guys and like I said I do got over a thousand videos uh, if you do enjoy this one most of them are dinosaur videos and I got them broken down in playlists, so go ahead and check them out on my channel. So this guy is cool too, same as the other one, his mouth does open and close, the legs and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put this with the other Carnotaurus in the back here. Okay, and just like for you guys, these eggs are a surprise to me also. I have not opened any of these eggs up. Ooh, we have a new one here. Cool. I think it might be a Dimetrodon. Because he's got the big sail on the back. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and pop this guy out. Okay, so this guy is looking like a Dimetrodon to me. So, let's go ahead and put him together. And I love the color schemes they use on these guys. I mean, most of them, they make them look kind of evil, actually. So, they would probably be bad guys. Cool. So, even though this one is... Up. herbivore it does look carnivore I mean they give it some evil looking teeth there okay so I go ahead and put the sail on his back like I said I think it's a dimetrodon looks to me like a dimetrodon actually yeah it would be a dimetrodon that's why they gave it the evil teeth because Dimetrodons are carnivore, so that's why they would give it the evil teeth. I don't think they would do that with uh, uh, herbivore, because if you look at the Stegosaurus here, they gave it like a flat mouth. This one has like sharp looking teeth. Cool. So we'll go ahead and put this guy in the other part of the zoo over there. Okay, and we still have six eggs to go. This is another green one. Let's hope it's a different one. Uh, yep, this is a Styracosaurus. Awesome. So Styracosaurus is similar to a Triceratop, except it's got one uh, horn in the front instead of three. And it has bigger horns on the plate around its head. Ooh, this is an evil looking one too. So first of all, pop. Oh, put on 
go ahead and pop his head on. Some of these you gotta push pretty tight because the head doesn't wanna stay on sometimes. And then we'll go ahead and push the tail on and then the legs. Oops, you don't wanna put the legs on backwards. So like I said before, uh, big legs in the back, smaller legs in the front. This one, the head's having a little bit of a hard time staying on. Uh, it, seem, it seems like they made the knob a little bit too close, so it's really hard to push it on. But uh, it will stay on as long as you don't move it too much. If you move it too much, it will pop off. So this one too, the mouth opens, closes, the legs move, the tail moves. Uh, this one is another one of the ones that are really evil looking. So we'll go ahead and put him there with the herbivores. And then we've got another one. Ooh, we got another blue one. Uh, is this one different? Ah, uh, this looks like another Dimetrodon. It would have been nice if the ones that were the same, if they had different coloring. That would make them look a little bit more unique, but I guess not. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and put this guy together. Oh, there we go. I was say, this one's moving. <laughs> okay, so we go ahead and pop his sail on there. I think these come in skeleton ones, too, guys. Because uh, on the box, it's showing like skeleton ones. Uh, I'm not really sure if they sell them separate or. Let, let me show you guys the box. So here is the box. It's a full size box. As you can see, some of them are skeletonized. And that was the Carnotaurus because you can see here, this is definitely the Carnotaurus with the uh, two horns over there. And then uh, if you do get it on Amazon, the link I've got below the video, you could buy them by the box. So you get 12 of them per box, but uh, I only have 11 of them left. So we're gonna go ahead and put the Dimetrodon back over there with the other one to try to keep the carnivores and herbivores separate. Okay, and let's see what was next. And guys, I could really use your help on my channel. I mean, my channel has not been doing all that great lately. I've been doing a lot of dinosaur videos for you guys. I love doing dinosaur videos. So if you could tell your friends to uh, have them check out my channel, that would be awesome that would help my channel a lot i would really appreciate it and that would help me so i could buy better dinosaur toys to make for you guys uh oh this one i think is a t-rex this one definitely looks like an evil looking t-rex check this guy out Ooh, it's even got black teeth what was this guy eating so once again, let's go ahead and snap them together. And these are cool when you buy them by the box because you never know what you're gonna get in it. And just the eggs that come with it are sweet, guys. I mean, you've seen the uh, three different colored eggs that come with it. It is, they are really cool. So yeah, this definitely looks like a uh, T-Rex to me an evil looking t-rex with black teeth cool okay so we'll put him with the carnotaurus there we don't want him to eat the herbivores okay and next is another green egg what is in here oh i think this one's different oh okay this is another star Ruckosaurus. Like I said, I mean, these are as much of a surprise to me as they are to you. So 
also. I mean, I love that. I love opening up surprise eggs and seeing what we get inside. Because you never know what you're going to get inside. That is the cool thing about surprise eggs. So, uh, the, most of these, they do snap together good. Uh, one, like the other Styrocosaurus, the head pops off easier. But this one doesn't. This one's normal. So, I guess with these cheaper ones, once in a while, you will run into something that... <laughs> it's funny how its mouth opens all the way up and it looks like the bottom of its jaw just fell off. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this one with the herbivores and that herbivore cage is full. Now if we get any other herbivores, we might have to start putting them with the carnivores. But it's a good thing we only have two 3D eggs left. I mean 4D eggs. These are actually 4D eggs. Uh-oh, we have another Stegosaurus. We might have to smash this guy in there. I mean, I don't want my herbivores get... Oh, you know what? We got another cage. I think we'll start another cage for herbivores. Okay, so just like last time... Starting with the head and tail, because that's two pieces you get out of the way. And then you can put the spike on its back at any time. And then just pop the legs on. Big in the back, small in the front. If you remember that, you will put these together correctly with no directions. Because they don't come with directions, but cool. So, I mean, we got a pretty good assortment of these guys. So, we got another Stegosaurus. Which, I'm going to go ahead and put into this other cage we have here on the side. So, we have one more egg left. So, this is our last egg. What do you think? Herbivore or carnivore? <sighs> I'm going to guess carnivore myself. Let's see if I'm correct. Uh, nope, another Triceratops. So I am not correct. So this would be an herbivore also. Okay, so let's go ahead, put this guy together, and then we have our zoo complete. We could go around the zoo and check it out. So just go ahead. This guy's head back. See, see how his jaw opens all the way? It's like it's, it was so surprised the jaw like fell off. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and put the legs on. This one I'm gonna put the tail on the last. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below too guys, which one of these is your favorite? Oh, that one's head just popped right off. Sometimes they have a little extra flap here. You gotta pull it down and then push the head on a little bit stronger. So, there we go. Uh, like I said, the cool thing I like about these, they are kind of evil looking. So you could look, use these as the bad guys. And then if you checked out any of my other dinosaur, uh, Zoos, you know I like to use a lot of the Lego ones. This is the Lego T-Rex. Because these big Lego ones are awesome. This is the Lego Indominus Rex. So I'm going to use these guys to actually go ahead and complete our zoo. This is the Dragon uh, Indominus Rex. And we have some baby ones we could use also. We have a uh, baby Indominus Rex, which we could put in there. We have a uh, baby Velociraptor, which I'm gonna put with the Dimetrodons over there. And we have a baby T-Rex, which is gonna go with the mommy T-Rex over here. So, let's check out our zoo, guys. Okay guys, here is our dinosaur zoo, but what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna move the cages right now so we can see what's in there. This one has the little T-Rex, the two Carnotauruses, the Lego T-Rex and the baby T-Rex. And then this one back there has the uh, Triceratops, the two Styracosauruses and the Stegosaurus. And then that one over there, let's go ahead and move the cage has the two Dimetrodons, the Velociraptor, and the Indominus Rex. And then this cage over here, which is a little bit dangerous for our dinos, has the Stegosaurus 40 and the Triceratops, both the 4D puzzles. And then it has the Baby Indominus and the Big Indominus. And behind those are all the eggs that these 4D puzzles came out and also on this side. So like I said guys, if you do enjoy my video, go ahead and click like. Give me, that's the thumbs up button. Uh, drop me a comment guys, what videos you want to see next. And please tell your friends. Like I said, it really does help me if you tell your friends to watch if you do enjoy these videos. And I will put a link below the video where you can actually buy these eggs. Wow, guys, that was so much fun. I love making these videos for you guys, and I hope to see you soon. Wow, guys, that was a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click subscribe and the thumbs up button down below the video. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. If you look to the video ends, there's an awesome end card. There's a lot more fun videos. And I will see you soon. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.